Hello viewers, I'm Wayne and welcome back to another video on the channel. Apologies, it's been a little while since the last time I uploaded. It's taken a little bit of time to get over that heartbreak of the England penalty defeat in the Euros. But seeing as the Emirates Stadium is opening back up for fans once again for the pre-season friendly for the men and women against Chelsea, I thought, what better time to come back, talk to you guys, preview the game a little bit and talk about some of the big news that's been going on with Arsenal. If you are enjoying the content, feel free to hit that like button down below. And if you are new to the channel, hit subscribe for more Arsenal content and Football Manager content going into the new season. Let's get into it. Now, of course, the major news over the course of this weekend is Arsenal finally announced the signing of Ben White to a long-term contract for a reported £50 million from Brighton. Upon his announcement on Arsenal.com, both technical director Edu and manager Mikel Arteta make it clear that Ben was a top target for us and that his age and profile fit what we're trying to build here. We're all looking forward to Ben being central to our future long-term plans. I, for one, am happy that the deal is done. Welcome, Ben White. I can't wait for you to have a solid career with us. Obviously, we as fans know it's a lot of money, but I'm sure that he could take that pressure on his shoulders and excel. If you haven't done so already, head over to Arsenal.com and you'll be able to check out Ben White's first video interview, which is on Arsenal Player, and also a written feature about what Ben White will bring to Arsenal. I, for one, am really happy that the centre of Arsenal defence should hopefully now be sorted for the next couple of years. I wish Ben White all the success with the club. With Ben White now signed, sealed and delivered, he was able to join his teammates in training ahead of today's friendly against Chelsea. Fingers crossed we'll be able to see him make his debut. As I've said before, the Emirates is now open for fans. It will be really uplifting to give him a good welcome. Also back in training with Ben White was Granit Xhaka, who's returned from his holidays following his Euro performances with Switzerland. Granit Xhaka is still at the Arsenal despite all of the recent stories linking him to Jose Mourinho's Roma and it could be that we have Granit Xhaka sticking around for a few more years as the Athletics' Amy Lawrence reports Arsenal preparing to offer Granit Xhaka a new contract this summer after Roma failed to make a suitable bid for the midfielder. Now I'm personally a little bit surprised by that simply because it seemed as though Xhaka was willing to leave and Arsenal kind of wanted him to leave and given the fact that we finished 8th last season I thought it was time for a refresh throughout the whole squad. Not only Xhaka but the likes of Bellerin, Lacazette and some of the youngsters seem to all be available for transfer as well. Now it remains to be seen if Roma come back with an acceptable offer or if Xhaka even accepts the new deal but this could be something that maybe drags on until the end of the transfer window. Also breaking over the course of this weekend was the news that Arsenal was showing serious interest in Inter Milan striker Lautaro Martinez. With stories coming from both Italy and Arsenal god David Ornstein himself that Arsenal inquired about the 23 year old striker. Now this move for me would be a huge signal of intent and really exciting. He's a modern day striker that can offer that link up, that goal threat and that playmaking ability. There's some questions over his suitability to the role of playing as a lone forward, given that so much of his success last season came with a strike partner in Romelu Lukaku. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below if you think Lautaro and Martinez will be a great signing for the Arsenal, or if there's another striker that we should be targeting. In other transfer news, the will he, won't he story with Martin Odegaard has taken another twist, as reports from Spain say Odegaard's intention is to stay and fight for his place at Real Madrid. Over the last couple of days, we heard that Odegaard was willing and wanting to come back to Arsenal, since he felt like he was a better player here. But with the ongoing rumours and Arsenal's interest about James Madison, you can understand why he might not be on our priority list. I for one am all in on the James Madison story and I hope that that's a deal we can somehow pull off. I know it'll be pricey, Leicester are tough negotiators, but I hope that we can bring him to the carpet. With reported figures floating around of between 60 and 70 million for Madison, if we can get a few players out the door, I certainly think that that's a deal we can get done. And right now, there seems to be a lot of positivity in terms of incomings for Arsenal, so let's hope that we can transfer that onto the pitch ahead of today's game against Chelsea. Now, while it's weird to say Arsenal play Chelsea at the Emirates for a pre-season friendly, this is all for a good cause, as the Mind series is helping raise money for charity. Today against Chelsea, we'll see the Arsenal ladies and the Arsenal men's team both in action and fun raised from the series will be split between Mind and each of the club's charitable foundations. As I said, it's completely weird to see Chelsea come to the Emirates for a pre-season friendly and even weirder to think that we'll be playing Spurs in what can be considered a friendly, even though it never is. 
but I'm happy that the club are doing something for charitable causes. As mentioned earlier, I'll be at the game, so if you've been lucky enough to grab a ticket and you see me around, be sure to say hello. If you haven't been lucky enough to grab a ticket or you're an overseas fan, not to worry, you can purchase a match pass which allows you to watch the Arsenal versus Chelsea game online and a percentage of that money goes to the Mind Series charities as well. It's always a great experience to see the Arsenal ladies team at the Emirates. I remember a couple of years back they were at the Emirates Cup and it was a really great atmosphere. And it'll be our first chance as fans to welcome Arsenal women's new head coach as well. It'll be great to get a result over Chelsea. They're going to probably play some of their big guns. Hopefully we go full strength and we can get a positive result for both the men and the women. And with a majority of home fans allowed back into the stadium for the first time in ages, I really think we're going to put on a show. So prediction-wise, for the women, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win. And for the men, I'm going to go for a 3-1 victory and a really good performance as well. And that just about wraps up today's video. I really appreciate you for watching. If you are going to watch today's friendly against Chelsea, I hope you enjoy the game. Recent pre-season friendlies against Millwall and Watford, we've put in some really good performances. So let's hope we can carry that out in front of at least a half-pack Emirates Stadium today. I'll do my best to get some post-match content out for you guys on the channel. So hit that subscribe button to be the first notified on when I upload. And let me know in the comment section down below just how you're feeling about Arsenal's pre-season, our transfers so far, the rumours, some players that you might want us to sign. Let me know. Let's have a discussion about it. Let me know the direction that you think Arsenal are heading in. As always, if you have enjoyed the content, feel free to hit that like button. Also, in the description down below, you'll see some links to my Twitch, my Twitter as well. Feel free to come follow me over there. In the meantime, stay safe. Take care. Hopefully, we have a great result against Chelsea today. Peace.